us, again, as a, as a TV brand, when we bring products to market, and when I say TV, it's TV or audio products, these types of consumer electronics, um, for us, the most important thing is validation of that product. The product quality is important. So PR and product reviews um, ends up being the very first and foremost media channel away for us because we want to make sure that as consumers research, we know that 75% of people will research before they go out and purchase consumer good of our, um, of our type that um, there's some information there for them to, to look at. Following that, then it's really word of mouth in terms of social media and our own media because we value the, um, really the hand raisers who've said, I'm a fan of Vizio. And so we want to make sure we're looping them in first uh, and keeping them informed. And then from there, it really flows to digital media. It flows to search and shopping and making sure that, again, for all those researchers who are looking online before they ever step into a store, that they're getting that great information. Um, and then we flow to, finally, TV and mass media in terms of driving general awareness and reach. You know, I think right now, Vizio is in a very unique position. It has been for very many years in terms of being a brand that is um, really high in terms of market share. We've always been number one, number two since 2007. Um, however, our awareness does tend to trail a little bit, but when asked in, in surveys, people definitely know us. Eight out of ten people always know us. So for, for us, it's really um, as certain competitive um, CE brands have come into the marketplace and, and really kind of flooded it with a lot of mass media, uh, I think it's helped us to become sharper and smarter about how we find the right channels to be able to communicate with consumers and get the right information to the right person at the right time. That's really, uh, really helped us to sort of step up our game. Yes, social media continues to be an increasing part of the mix. Um, it's very important, as I mentioned, as a channel for us to communicate with consumers. The, um, the, what's changed, I've noticed, in the last year or so is that um, I'm more interested in engagement. I'm more interested in um, affecting um, consumer behavior as opposed to getting likes and followers. I think, I think everyone is now. It's, it's more important to understand um, the sentiment of what people are saying on social channels um, and then as well as what, their, um, what, their, what actions they're taking from there. So we actually started a program a little more than a year ago um, called Fandemonium that is a social media community, um, really an aggregation of, of all the social conversations around different passion points, entertainment passion points, be that sports or music, movies, things that basically involve the, the consumption of media through our devices. Um, and for us, it's an interesting, really um, new avenue for us to understand what people are saying about really the content that they love and how they want to watch it. And through that, that's helping us not only um, to engage with them as a brand, but it's also even helping to shape our, our product development. I think it's, it's more important than ever that marketers become just as savvy about data and understanding uh, almost data science in a way. Not that you need to become a data scientist, but I think you, you have to take time to invest and understand what the value of that data is and how to utilize it. Um, I think the days in the past of being a good marketer, being someone who's great at creative and understanding creative and just branding is um, unfortunately not enough and it's just table stakes these days.